What's going on, you guys? Yeah, just uh, finally took Luna in for a second progesterone test, and she is lying at a 1.9, so compared to the first time, which was 0.8, now two days later, 1.9. I was like, shit, you know what? What are you ready? Another $85 out of my damn pocket, man. Shit, girl. Luna. I'm just playing y'all, but hey, it's totally okay, totally fine, and just, you know, it's it's wise, I, I what I learned, is, it's just wise to just pay the extra money, 85 bucks again, again, <laughs> just to, you know, maybe have another puppy, maybe have two or three more, or hey, just hit it right and just get a full litter of six, seven, eight, I don't know, man, you know, small females, from what you guys can see, short back or anything, they can still, they can still throw puppies, they can still throw big layers. Uh, six, seven, and it's a common misconception, you know, when it comes with French Bulldogs or small breeds. Uh, well, just French Bulldogs. Let me just speak on French Bulldogs and uh, explicitly to say that their average litter can be three to four. But guys, that's only because they do AI. But AI, if you hit it right, you know, two or three times um, for breedings. Uh, AI, you know, artificial insemination, you actually have a lot of puppies. And which is the reason why I like to have, to do uh, in-house breedings uh, in person or studying out uh, to another person, like you bring your, your female to another stud uh, to do, to go to them instead of doing the surgical AI and all that shit. Because it sometimes, it could be hit or miss too. You know, even with the, the right progression testing too. It sometimes, you know, some people tell me they, they, they miss it too, even when the progesterone test is right. Uh, even with surgical AI, uh, sometimes their femurs don't take. And yeah, it just, it really, stuff like that happens, you guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully, man, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to this one with Luna X uh, King James up in Charlotte. I'm looking forward to this breeding, man, just because uh, I was actually gonna breed her to Roach to my stuff. But I want some different blood too, and also I like the way King James look because every dog's got their own look. They they got their own style. I got my own style, and I feel like Luna, she's a she's a good candidate. <laughs> she will be a good female to throw on the King James just because, uh, even though she, like even though Roach is like my male, even though my stud is fat, and she's fat too, I I think that it will look better. Um, just to just to throw on the king james just because I, I i did a breeding and it just didn't take so you know i i'm just stuck with a breeding to go with so i just end up you know what i'm gonna choose luna to go to go do with the uh, uh the breeding with king james and um which is a chocolate try i'll show you guys right here yeah as you guys see chocolate try you know hella badass you know i love him too you know he's short back I, I don't know. I don't remember if he's got a tail or not, but Luna, she ain't got no tail, y'all. You know, thick ass neck or kind of like no neck too. You know, short back, fat, the fatty jean. I love that look. And people always uh, mistake my females for uh, being a male. And uh, even when I was at the vet today, they, they, they say, hey, is that, a, is that a boy? Well, like how old is he? I was like, no, nah, it's a girl, y'all. It's a, it's a female. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> got a really masculine female but i don't i don't even think uh luna is not even that masculine towards uh, my other female like reaper or bamboo you know she's actually like feminine to me so i don't know what you guys talking about saying that luna's a male are you breathing so hot girl but yeah that's just a quick update so yeah man just uh it's just uh, investment you know I, I don't mind paying another 85 bucks to just do a projection test and yeah guys comment down in the section below how much do you guys pay for projection tests or do you guys do it your own or do you guys buy a, a projection test kit or anything or do you go to somebody how much do you guys typically pay for i'm really curious uh just because you know i, I probably i would like to learn how to do it on my own uh, i did see it on youtube and with uh, love my pups and i don't know man it's kind of scary i don't know if i could do that stuff man you know just drawing blood so i'm just playing I, i'm not that like i'm just scared i'm not scared like i'm I'm not scared of like doing the procedure i'm just scared like i might fuck up i actually want like you know a professional to do it in front of me or you know hitting the vein right you know because i i got dr like blood drawn from me before before and uh it it, it sucks 
really does suck, you know. And Lilita, she seems to be fine. You know, she seems to be really good. She just literally goes in for like two minutes. They draw her blood out, and then they just bring her in. That's it. Like nothing just happened. So, you know, Luna. But yeah, right, guys. So, yeah, that's. Uh, I'll tell you guys uh, in a bit uh, when I get inside the house. And yeah, and leave you guys with an update. All right, guys. Peace out so much. Love you. Peace. All right, guys. So yeah, just uh, letting my dogs out, my doggos, and yeah, y'all. I was debating or not, man, whether or not to do a breeding with these two together. You know, the fat ones, not toxic, but Luna and Roach together. You know, and put that fatty gene in together. But I was like, hey, you know what? You know, just I, both rare colors. Roach even carries blue as well. You know, there's really no wrong answer for me to to really throw on to, to Luna. I can either do Roach to Luna, I can do a guy in New Jersey to Luna. Like, Luna is just a really good female to even breed to, and really good temperament too, guys. And I tell you guys, man, I, I don't just breed for just the licks too, man. I, I like to go for temperaments. And you know, the last time uh, when I was there in Charlotte to check on King James, I love his temperament too. He's a really goofy, you know, playful type of dog. and. Um, he seems like a good dog, you know, I don't think he's really aggressive at all from what I can tell and really really, you know, good just cute dog in general, you know, that's that's just me. I, I like the really I like the really cute dogs. That's that's me really cute dogs and just laid back and chill and stubborn. Um, sometimes a little too a little stubbornness is what I like. You know, that's, that's cute, you know, not too not too loyal like toxic, even though toxic man one of my most obedient and loyal dogs man just I, I just love the a kind of a stubborn dog that's just me <laughs> you know just, it's just a cute personality to him and that's just the way that i love to breed and roach what are you doing son yeah roach messing up my damn grandma's uh garden up my vietnamese grandma i'm not vietnamese y'all but it's uh my vietnamese grandma's yard so look at that, got all them plats going on. But Roach, you know, I'm guys, I'm saying, you know, Roach is not a bad pick too. But I, I need some, I, I want some different blood too. And you know, I just really just started, you know, getting on with the with Roach's bloodline, that DK meaning mouse bloodline. Roach taking the shit. So boy. But it's just, you know, I just, I decided, yeah, hey, let's just throw Luna on to King James instead. So yeah, all right, guys, uh, my dad's calling me. I'll talk to you guys. Hold up. But yeah, guys, so as I was saying pretty much that I really want to talk to you guys pretty much, man, because they said that today is what, Thursday. They say, no, today's Friday, actually. And they say that possibly the next Monday, which is like, what, one, two, three, three days, she'll be ready. So since, since she's lying at 1.9, you know, we have to, she has to be around a five to make sure everything's all good. And you guys, this is like a first for me. Uh, I really never like do a progesterone test like that to to tell you the the truth. You know, that's that's what I learned from other people, and they do progesterone tests just to make it worth it, just to pay the extra costs. And other breeders too uh, tell me, you know, you should do a progesterone test, make sure she's good, you know, make sure we hit it right, get a lot more puppies and, and stuff like that. And I don't know, man. It's just uh, I I kind of thinking, man, because sometimes people tell me. Um, you know, this is why it's it's just a guesstimate game when it comes to, you know, in-house breeding. Um, I just, you know, when I know, like, oh, she's ready, I just start, you know, in-house breeding. I breed them three to four times. Four times is good. You know, four times I know. If I hit it too early, all right, I just, I just hit it too early. If I hit it, you know, later already, well, I already got, uh, I already hit it, like, early, like, early from the beginning. Uh, from the beginning to the middle towards the end. So I, I hit it four times and AI four times and you know, you get a lot of puppies pretty much. And uh, yeah, I just I just did a breeding with Roach. Um, so he just had, uh, uh, my, my cousin actually just had a litter drop. And uh, I bred him to uh, my cousin's female. Um, she's a girl. I bred it to her female who is actually uh, Luna's sister. Luna's uh, uh, litter mate sister. And Roach actually, uh, both of them together actually came out with is it six pups, which is which is good. Six pups is 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 a good amount, and I I'm, I am happy with six. You know, I don't really like to have two or three. I, I actually like to have a big litter too, man, just because so I can have a 
easier or a, a, a bigger chance to actually pick what is the what is the best pick of the litter you know you don't really know what's the, the 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 best offspring of the litter if you don't have a lot you know it's just you know every kid every puppy will look different uh every litter you know they, they just will all look different that's that's what i've learned for these couple of years and guys i'm still learning in breeding and you know you guys think i'm a professional or i am an expert no i i'm just your average breeder <laughs> just learning and vlogging for you guys and teach you guys on the way what i am learning pretty much and i think y'all bama is getting the heat but i actually got her scheduled up uh to do to go for a spade she is retired you guys i don't want to breed her no more uh since her last litter she had a c-section i wanted to wait I wanted to wait just to make sure she's all healed up and it's been a while now like a couple months like four months now uh, actually five months before i wanted to do a a uh, another procedure with her which is a spade no more breeding for bamba she's retired i don't i don't like to breed old dogs man just people say they breed dogs till six seven years i said hell no y'all that's that's too fucking old bro like i'm good bro like i don't know how people could do that that that's just me I, I can't I can't do that man just people breeding dogs at six seven years old I, I can't do that yo Bamba's old you know just I wanted to say for five years old I think she's that she was at her limit that's it you know I don't I don't want to breed her no more that's it I don't want to breed Bamba no more and uh what's up fat king what you doing boy Rouch you doing sunny but yeah Rouch fat ass but that's just me y'all <laughs> Roach being a little silly boy, but that's just me, man. I can't, I can't do that. You know, I love my dogs, man. Just, they're just not just for breeding for quantity, y'all. You know? It's just, it's breeding for quality. You know, people breed back to back, back to back. I, I can't afford to do that, man. It's not that I can't afford it. It's just, I, I just, I just don't feel right. I, I, you know, I feel wrong just for doing that, and you know, I just want them to have a happy life, pretty much, man. I love them, but even though she's one of my baddest females, y'all, she is one of my baddest females my best females it's okay you know i feel right in my in my mind in my in my mindset you know that i don't, I don't want to breed her no more you know that's pretty much it she's done her job already i already have boogie and cardi i don't want to breed her again that's pretty much it i i am done you know with the bamboo x where the fuck is roach but you know i'm happy you know i even did toxic in bamboo and these two didn't really click right together i mean they they, they click pretty good but you know, just not to what I like. Like some, some, uh, both of these kids together, they, they came out pretty good. Like not gonna lie, which is uh, with King, King actually turned out pretty good. Uh, which is uh, a guy, uh, somebody who bought it from me. But and there's Reaper, Reaper. What's up, honey? But that's just me, you know, updating to you guys pretty much, you know, what I think, and you know, with the projection test that I'm doing, and you know, my next upcoming litter. So, all right, guys, love you guys so much. Uh, hopefully you guys stay in content uh, updated with me just sorry i haven't been making content for about a week now just y'all but i've just been chilling with the dogs and fishing y'all i've been catching a lot of fish <laughs> a catfish striper hi uh, not hybrid uh white bass dude i've been fishing bro i've been loving it so i've been taking a quick like a little a little break from y'all with social media but hey i'm ready to start grinding again and tell you guys that i do have another breeding all right, guys. Love you guys so much. Peace out, y'all. Peace.